Hello viewers and today I'm gonna show you a very important lesson and we shall learn about bits and the computer and the applications as well. Many a times we come across some, uh, operating systems uh, some of our friends use 64-bit operating systems and some of our friends also use the 32-bit systems in their computers. But often at times, you know, we come across uh, situations when we need to install applications into our computer and uh, when we download an application, the application you know which we have downloaded does not actually meet with the system requirements that are system in our in our computer system. For example, um, we face problems installing applications made for 32 bits into a 64-bit computer system. So. Today we will learn how to install a 32-bit application into a into a 64-bit operating system computer. Many applications do not come with the 64-bit or 32-bit size separately. It's they just have one version, and that version, uh, basically or very usually, is the 32-bit, or sometimes it is just released with the 64-bit size. So to overcome this problem, we shall look at the steps on how to configure or set up your computer uh, in the settings part so that you can install any application compared to any kind of bit into your, into your computer system. So the first process is that you press the Windows key and the control, uh, sorry, the Windows key and the R key together to run the run dialog box. In the run dialog box, as you can see here, you need to type INET Manager. As it I as in India, N as in November, E as in Echo, T as in Tango, M as in Mike, G as in Golf, and R as in Romeo. INET Manager. And click on OK. As soon as you click on OK, you will see a dialog box which pops up. Sometimes some computers do not accept this command. This dialog box which has just popped up which says Internet Information Services IIS Manager. This IIS Manager dialog box would not pop up into some systems due to, you know, it, it had been un, uh, unabled or say disabled in your system settings so let's look at that first to uh, enable the IIS manager settings go to your start control panel programs programs and features turn off features turn on the features as you can see here get into this particular dialog box you just have to wait until the list gets populated and then this option here I have enabled it um, this will be unable in your computer system so you just have to go and uh, give it a right a left click with your mouse so it gets enabled and available for use and then you click OK. It'll take some time 
to set up the settings wait for it and then you can close the application completely and then after that you go to the run dialog box once again by pressing the windows and the R key continuously and then you type I net manager that is I N E T N G R click OK and then you have a dialog box in this internet information services IIS manager dialog box you will find many options you, you don't need to mess around with these okay so you just have to concentrate on the leftmost column where you will find your system name over here and then you can expand this after you expand it you can see um, there are some names written down here and there is a tree so you have to look for application pool application pool there it is and if you click on application pool you will have a list that displays in the, in, in the central column of the computer of this dialog box you will see default application pool in this default application pool is where you have to make the settings so that you can install any size of bit into the system into the system be it 64 or 32 bits so you right click on the default application pool and go to advanced settings once you go to advanced settings you will find under the tab general I had okay here it is under the general tab you will find enable 32-bit applications here it is this will be set to false initially in your computer if you are not able to install the 32 bits application into your computer this will be set to false to enable this you just have to select true from the drop-down list and then just start automatically this is also gonna be set to true or false it has to be set to true so that you can install the applications into your computer and use them as you like and then after this is done click OK and there you go that's it so that's how you can now install any 32-bit application into your 64-bit computer operating system thank you very much